So none of these images are real. They are all 100% AI generated on my journey. I started a t-shirt business and I realized that I need content for social media, but I didn't have time to do the photo shoot. I had one awesome friend who sent me these photos. They are actual pictures, as you can see with these awkward poses. Um, hopefully he never sees this video, but that was it. I needed more. So I decided to give AI a try to build my social media. I know you get these accounts on Instagram with like AI um, models and AI influencers. There's a lot more that goes into these posts and videos with fake people than what meets the eye, but that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to simply make pictures or posts that I can use on social media while I didn't have my own pictures. And I really wanted to jump on this whole Zara thing that was trending at the time with these, you know, weird poses that Zara models always have. I mean, I wanted to even use my husband, but apparently the garden looked and he looked fat. So yeah, hopefully he also never sees this video. So anyways, here's what I did. My journey on a private server on Discord and I just prompted what came to mind. The t-shirt business is around age is just a number and you know anyone can feel young inside so I came up with men doing all kinds of random stuff, young, old, it doesn't matter and I tested my journey in terms of what scenes I could get out of it. The images were decent but every now and then my journey flipped out as we know with generative AI um, and then I took these images for the t-shirt to Canva where I removed the background to get them on the t-shirt. But here's where I ran into trouble. You have smart mockups in Canva where you can add a picture to a mockup. It can be a t-shirt or a mug or anything. But I already had my pictures that I now wanted to add these designs on because the moment I got the picture and I put the design on, it looked flat. You could see the design was not part of the t-shirt. So eventually I got over my stinginess. I subscribed to Photoshop and knowing nothing about Photoshop, obviously I came to YouTube. I mean, where else? And I found this one amazing video, no talking, just music, but it shows you step by step how to add a logo or a picture on a t-shirt that it is included in the fold. So I'm not going to pretend here with some fake tutorial that I know what I'm doing on Photoshop. You will find a link to the video in the description below. So I followed all the little maneuvers and all the little steps and I think they turned out very decent. I mean, if you're a graphic designer, please go easy on me. In any case, if people are scrolling on Instagram, the pictures are not really big and I don't think they're going to like open and zoom in to see, you know, is this now AI or not. Perhaps people are going to start doing that because these days you don't know what is real and what is not. But I did try my best and you can see, for instance, this guy's alien hand I managed to fix also in Photoshop. The models that I used here also straight from my journey. Tip if you want to have a like a cool funky kind of background like I used here with a person or a model in front. Don't prompt it in the same picture. This is what happened when I asked for a model against a picture with like splashes of color. Um, it just, it, it couldn't separate it. So I ended up just getting the splashes separately with this prompt and then when I wanted the models, you can see if I scroll here through my mid journey page, it's just a ton of models. So I'll just keep prompting for different races with different colored t-shirts, having beards or glasses or anything until I found like a couple that I really liked. So look, I will definitely be able to do in a real photo shoot because you can use the same people and you can use different t-shirts, but I got stuck here. The nice thing about my awkward friend in the beginning is that he sent me multiple pictures wearing the same shirt and I started getting cheeky with Photoshop and managed to replace those designs with new designs, meaning I had a couple of pictures that I could use with different designs without having to actually go and do the shoot or for that matter to use my journey. Obviously, because I'm selling these t-shirts, I need to know that if I put a picture out there, I can actually deliver on the expectation that that picture is creating. Just as a disclaimer, we printed all of these t-shirts beforehand to make sure about the printing and the quality and the designs before I started making the post. But I was stuck because I didn't have models and my husband refused because hashtag dad bod. So I made a plan. So that's pretty much what I did and I'm starting to have an Instagram feed here. The copy is still a work in progress. It's a trial and error. I'm building this, trying to see how it works out. So if you enjoyed this, check out this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.